Hi, this morning I'd just like to go through with you and tell you how to connect with me here. Um, pop, pop these icons on your sidebar. You can actually put them anywhere on the sidebar. You don't have to have them at the top, but I quite like them at the top because they're nice and easy to access. So the first thing we need to do is go and find some. And what we do is we just go to Google, look at images, type in social media icons. Um, there's tons in here. And what will happen is you'll click on them and you'll get them as a, a zip file. Okay, so you can click on them here, whichever ones you want to want to do. <laughs> They're pretty cute. Um, anyway, whichever, whatever you choose, you'll, you, you'll go back and you'll, um, you'll do the proper ones. What I've done is I've found these ones here, which are really neat. And all you do here is it says to download. So I've downloaded them onto my desktop. Uh, and they turn up in your download section, which is under desktop desktop documents downloads I still have trouble finding this when I was learning how to do it so it's what I'm showing you because I know what it's like when you're learning and you need everything put down in simple easy steps anyway there's your 3d icons and it's in a zip file so what you need to do is right click it and go and unzip it so you open it with, with WinZip okay so I've already done that just to save some time and here's my here's my WinZip folder uh, what you need to do now is just go through and say, right, what you need to do is right click on it and extract it. Um, I've set up a, a folder here under my social media icons. A good thing to do when you're, when you're learning to do all this stuff is make sure, like what I do is I just have an image graphics folder and everything goes in it. So anything that's a picture you can find, otherwise you end up in a big mess. Um, I've done it under social media icons and I've got 3D icons, which is the name of the folder. So what I've done is I've, I've set that up as a new folder. Um, and then you just click extract and it will send it to your folder. And you do that with all three. We're doing YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. There's no reason you can't do any others. You can do whatever, as many as you like um, on there. So once you've done that, you've got them set up in your folder here. So these are ready to be uploaded to your WordPress. What we're going to do is we're actually going to use uh, the WordPress um, blog as our template to actually build our code so we can so we can put our code in our sidebar. So what I've done, just to save time, is I've set up two already. What you've done, what I've done here is I've gone to post, add new, then I've put my cursor where I want it and I've clicked add an image. So what you need to do is you upload it. So select files. It'll bring up. You'll have to find your file. Mine's under 3D icons. Click on the one you want. Open it. Insert into post. It'll come up big. What you do is you click on it and it makes it blue and then you go up to this one here that says edit image. Go to advanced settings and it's really easy. I've done these ones at 80. <coughs> 60 is quite good too. But 80 is just that little bit bigger. Um, and update. Here we are. Now you have the images. What we need to do is turn them into hyperlinks. So we click on them blue. We go up to this one here, which says it's got a little linky thing on it. Now what we need to do is, is connect it to something. So it's a Facebook one, and we want to connect it to our Facebook account. So what you need to do is go and get your, your, your usernames, which is, these are my, this is my username, and your Twitter. If you actually go onto your account, you'll see up here, I'm on my account. We've got facebook.com dhibs and I'm just sending them straight to my personal profile. I'm not sending them straight to my fan page. I just think it's quite nice to, for them to get to know you before they um, before you throw them throw people into your fan page. Okay, so that's what I've got here. Uh, we need to go back and. 
the Facebook H URL on it. For some reason, um, Word is really good at it, it can do FEML code, which is great because when you transfer this code to other pages, it doesn't seem to um, affect it, whereas it does in other applications. We don't want to open the same window, we want to open a new window and just update. I'm just going to go through and quickly do those. It wasn't, I learned another way of doing this, but I actually found that way really hard compared to this way. This way is just so simple, super, super simple. Yes. New window update. Okay, so now we've got three clickable links. So if we post these on this post, we, people would be able to click on them, but we don't want them to post on the, we don't want to post them on the post. We want to put them on the side, sidebar. So what we need to do is just up here we've got visual and HTML. Ta -da, you've got all this code here. And you literally copy and paste it. Right click copy or control C. Now where we're pasting it to is our, uh, our sidebar. So I'm just going to go back widgets. It'll save it as a draft. So just go into widgets and we've already got two sidebars from the other from the other I'll show you from the other training we did. I took the headers out over there last time. Um, so here's the training we did last time for the sidebar. What we want to do is put this in here up the top. So what we need to do is go back. We need to put another text box up the top. So you just hold it, drag it, and place it slightly above, and it will sit on there. Then you go right click, paste or control V. Then you go down and go, delete it, we'll save it. And close it. Don't put a title on there. And if we go to our front page, Actually, we do put a title in there. I just remembered we've got connect to me. So just re click on it. Connect with me. WordPress does that to you sometimes. It's actually taken it off. Don't ask me why it does it. I don't know. But. What we can do is just redo it. We've got three there now, and we want that one at the top. I did save it, so I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Just pop up here, connect with me, or anything you want to put. Resave it. Close it. It's actually good to have the odd glitch when you're training because I mean they come up and I know what it's like in the past. I've had so many stressful moments where I haven't been able to figure things out. So it's actually really good to be able to um, show you this. Just save this as social media icon. You don't you don't need to save it. What I would suggest is that you put it on a notepad and save it as a document file so that you've got it. If anything ever happened, you could put it back up there without having to redo the whole thing. I will just save the draft. Now, if we click on these, they should bring up our pages. A 
Okay, there we are. Done. So that's our training for putting social media icons onto your sidebar.